the Gadget Guru. Um, this is going to be a deck profile on my teammate's um, agent deck. His name is Sean. Um, we're going to have a box trainer tomorrow. I'll let you know how this deck does. Um, basically, he came to me with a very interesting concept. He wanted me to build an agent deck, but he wanted it to be Agent Twilight because he likes the dark monsters. The dark monsters have a lot of good monsters. Chaos Sorcerer, BLS. I mean, he's not dark, but you need darks to summon him. Uh, Gore's Emissary of Darkness. And DD Crow. So I was like, okay, well, that's an interesting concept. So I started out with just an agent deck, and I started throwing in dark monsters, seeing what works. Obviously, Gores and Trag were the first cards to go in. They they're easily splashable. They're amazing. Sandgen followed up that. Um, I eventually just tossed in DD Crow for them grave graveyard control and stuff. You know, I mean, just tossed in some darks. And then a card that jumped out at me was Unknown Synchron. Now this card. Is very interesting. It's a machine tuner, and you can special it like a Star Dragon, and it's a one-star tuner. Now, this opens up a lot of play for the deck. Like, you can synchro with uh, Hyperion into eight stars. You can synchro with um, Venus and the Shine Balls into six stars, five stars, seven stars, eight stars, whatever you need. Like, it doesn't matter how many stars you need for it, you can grab it with Unknown Synchron and Venus. It does the, well, I mean, except for nine. Like, you can't go for nine. But other than nine, all the way up to eight, any monster you want, bam. Bionic, Black Rose, uh, Catastor, uh, Android, I mean, it doesn't matter. Just do, just throw it right on the field with, the, with those two. Special summon him, normal summon Venus, pay your life points, and go crazy. It's really amazing. Like it really is a good card. I mean, I, I'm I'm amazed. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the deck. Um, three agent of mystery earth. Um, you gotta have her. Three of her is just amazing. So three of her. Two Venus. Now you're probably going wait wait two Venus. Well, I only run two because that searches that. And honestly, by the second one, you've already got your shine balls out, and it's just not worth it anymore. You want to get other options faster. Um, like, having multiple of her in your hand is horrible. It's just trash. I, I can't stand it. Um, three Hyperion, uh, obviously one of the beat six of the deck. Special summon her, but I'm moving from play an agent in your graveyard and then start just nuking face. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Um, as you like, as I said, Synchro Materials and Gachi Gachi fodder. Honest, just stupid. Oh, you attacked me, honest. Um, Miracle, uh, you've got to have Mar. I mean, you, you've got to have um, Jupiter. Like, Jupiter is just so good. Pumps himself to a 26 beat stick and he's searchable off of Earth when you, once you're out of the target for Venus. I mean, just so good. Now, BLS. One of the major main beat sticks of the deck. I mean, BLS coming back to this format was bullshit. Get it? Bullshit, BLS? Yeah. It works out. Um, but yeah, it was bullshit seeing BLS come back. I mean, he's just dumb, so you got to have him. One Vela, just stop effects. Now, a lot of people say, why not? Uh, why, why don't I want more Vela? Well, because stopping effects isn't actually that amazing these days. Like, I mean, honestly, like, it doesn't really happen very much. I mean, when they lone fire me or whatever, it's just like, okay. And when they black throws me, it's like, eh, oh, well, you know, I'll just get over it next turn. I mean, it really doesn't bother me. So, one Vela, in my opinion. Um, next, Gores, obviously, just attack me. Haha. <laughs> Trigodia, copy level, synchro, um, you know, you can synchro with him, you can exceed with him, you know, he's just, he's all around amazing, like that's, he's just, he's just good. Triple Chaos Sorcerer, another beat stick of the deck, 2300, banishes any face up monster once per turn, I mean, if you have Gachi Gachi out, he becomes a 27, I mean, just, he's just amazing. Double DD Crow, now this gives, this is a queen, a quick and mean way, so a queen way, of putting um, darks in the grave, and it can control their graveyard. Like I've actually, this actually has saved me a lot. I mean, Monster Reborn, Call of the Haunted, Pot of Avarice. Uh, I mean, shit, you name it, dude. They, they're like, oh, I activate this, discard this. Uh, DD Crow. <laughs> they're like, what? <laughs> it's it's just it. It's too good. Like I love DD Crow. Um, San Yen. Now let me. Com I'll comment on something you didn't see here. I know a lot of you are going, why don't you play this? Why don't you play? I'll comment in a second. I I'm sure I know a lot of you are thinking of this card. I'll, I'll comment in a second. So, saying in, um, search your deck, stuff like that. I know Synchron, as I said, Synchro Summon and you put Darks in the Grave. Double Card Trooper. Broken, free milling, and drawing. How can you not love this card on a Twilight deck? I mean, he's just dumb. Um, Heavy Storm, 
and Mirror Force. Mirror Force is kind of out of place, but Heavy Storm. Then you got Triple MST. You need, need Back Row Hate. Monster Reborn, call, uh, Pot of Avarice, two Duality. Another deck does special summon a lot, so Duality is kind of a... Definitely not three. Three Duality clogs too much, but I think two is going to... Uh, two's been doing really well, so I'm going to leave it at two. Dark Hole, Double Bottomless, Double Call, Solemn Judgment. So that's that's the deck. Um, there is no side deck. Let me flip this around. Um, one second. You're going to kiss a non synchron. Alright. Sorry about that. Somebody was calling me, so I had to figure out what they wanted. Um, anyways, um, so basically, there is no side deck yet. We haven't gotten that far in the deck. I just created the deck form. Um, we're going to be working on a side deck tomorrow. We're going to meet up at 10.30. The tournament starts at 2 o'clock, I think. So we'll have plenty of time to make a side deck and, you know, do something like that. And I'm going to help him play test it so he can run through the patterns and stuff of what you do and when you do it and stuff like that. Um, so this is going to be his new main deck from now on. Um, like I said, he just got back in the game like a week ago, two weeks ago, whatever. So he's he just got back in the game after about a year of being gone, so I, I hope he does well. I really do. Um, now the one card a lot of you didn't see here, you're probably asking, why don't you run it? Christian. How can I explain this without being offensive? I can't. Christian sucks. I'm sorry. Like, I really am sorry. I played Christian in this deck. I was, the, my original build was using two Christian. Out of 12 games, I didn't get the player one time. I didn't get the player. 12 games. And so I dropped her to one, played another, I think, nine games, still couldn't play her. I would draw her, and she would just be sitting in my hand dead. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is useless. I mean, I can't play the bitch. Because um, you have to have exactly four, and there's so many times... I'll have five or six because I milled a card trooper and hit two of them, and then I can't do that. Or, you know, I'll remove, like, I'll remove uh, uh, a fairy and a dark to special summon chaos sorcerer and start beating with them. And I top deck into Christian, I have three in grave, and I'm just like, fucking really? So honestly, and like, I even asked him, and he doesn't like the card either. So we honestly removed Christian from the deck because it didn't work. Like, it just didn't. And honestly, like, my official opinion on Christian has always been too situational. And people are like, well, it's just like a dark arm. Mm, not really. Dark arm is any three darks. Yeah, that's not very hard. Darks can manipulate the graveyard easy. I mean, that's what they do. Necrogardna, you know, Phantom of Chaos, all that bull crap. I mean, darks manipulate the grave. That's not a problem. But, and like Chaos Sorcerer, something like that. But, I mean, with Christian, it's just like, I don't know, it's, I don't like her. Like, she, she always is dead. I'm just like, what the fuck? Why am I even running this bitch? So I just took her out. I mean, that's, I mean, I, he agreed with me that he doesn't like Christian, and I hate Christian, so. No Christian. Um, if you guys can think of any other good cards that I might be able to put in the deck, uh, let me know. Put it in the comment section. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I will try and test them out if I can. Um, I should have any I should have any and all cards you suggest for me to test out. I'm trying to find some more good darks. Like, I mean, I don't want to add, uh, I don't want to add a third DD Crow, but I really don't know what else to do. Like, I want more darks. But, like I said, I don't want too many darks, so maybe I'll just stick with that. I don't know. I'm kind of confused about the whole thing. But, like I said, if you see anything here that you think I missed, let me know. Hit me up, you know. And, you know, just let me know what you think. Suggestions and comments are always welcome. So, to get here, I'll catch you all later.